so in instruments of monetary policy instruments of monetary policy we have discussed crr and snr today we will discuss repo rate repo rate and reverse repo rate So we have discussed these two. Today we will discuss repo rate and reverse repo rate. Actually, uh, when a bank needs money for a short short duration, maybe oh one day, maybe seven days, fourteen days, then what does RBI do? RBI, uh, what does the bank do? Bank needs cash. Bank uh, borrows cash from RBI against government securities. So government securities act as collateral in repo. Transactions, government securities act as collateral. What is collateral? Collateral is any security which a creditor wants from you to give money to you. Means he wants a surety that money will be returned back. So if your property is with the creditor, more likely you will return back the money to get back the property. So for a bank. For a bank, RBI takes collateral, means government securities, and gives money to bank. Gives money to banks. Okay, which bank? What will the bank do with the money? Uh, create reserves. Create reserves. Ten, if CRR is ten percent, ten percent will be uh, given as reserve, kept as reserve money in the name of RBI. Remaining money will be. Lent to debtors. Debtors means investors need money, businessmen need money, so they need they borrow from the bank. The rate at which debtors borrow, the rate interest rate paid by debtors to the bank is called lending rate. It's called lending rate, and all this facility provided by RBI to banks, commercial banks, SBI, HDFC, ICICI. This window is called liquidity adjustment facility. Liquidity adjustment facility. What does it literally means? It literally means uh, RBI wants to control liquidity in the economy. Uh, before I discussed in the previous video that RBI wants to control money supply. Because RBI wants to achieve its objectives. What are those objectives? Controlling inflation, maintaining a smooth rate of inflation, around four percent, six percent. Or when the GDP is not going up smoothly uh, at a fast pace, then RBI, RBI wants to push GDP growth rate up. How it can do that? It can do both. It can achieve both objectives by controlling. Money supply in the economy. Money supply means narrow money. Narrow money means M one. M one means cash plus demand deposit with banks, with commercial banks. So now see, RBI gets government securities from bank, and in return, bank gets money from RBI. Obviously, if you get money from somebody, if I give you money, you will have to pay me interest rate. So banks. Pay interest rate to RBI, which is called repo rate. So repo rate is nothing but an interest rate paid by banks to RBI for getting cash from the bank. Let us say the government securities are pledged by bank with RBI for one day, for one day. That means this is called overnight repo transaction. Overnight means the money comes from RBI to bank for one day. Now overnight repo transactions happen at an interest rate called policy rate. So normally, what you see in what you see in newspaper, they discuss policy rate has been increased, decreased by RBI. What is that policy rate? That is nothing but overnight repo rate. Overnight repo rate. What is it? Overnight repo rate is the interest rate paid by banks to RBI for getting money from RBI for not more than a day, right? 
Now, how does RBI use this window? Let us see. How does RBI use repo rate to control money supply in the economy? Suppose we are starting here, debtors who are no one but customers of banks. Suppose they have so much money, M1 is, they have 100 rupees. And RBI thinks that this is too much. This is very high money supply in the economy. RBI thinks that very high. M1 is very high. Since M1 is very high, prices are rising very high, very fast. Means in inflation. The economy is suffering with high inflation. Again, I told you a disease is there. What is the disease? High inflation. So, how, so obviously, what is the solution? Solution is to bring down M1. Now, this is your SBI and this is your RBI. How does RBI bring down M1? If SBI gives less loan, less loans to debtors, what will happen? Debtor will have less money. And when will debtor take less money from RBI? Yes, SBI, sorry. Debtor will take less money from SBI when they have to pay 10% instead of 8%. Earlier they were paying 8%. So they were taking 100 rupees loan. Now they are having to pay 10%. Interest rate has gone up. Lending rate has gone up. So if the interest rate has gone up, debtors naturally will take, let us say, 80 rupees now. As they take less rupee, less uh, loan from uh, SBI, naturally money supply goes down and inflation comes under control. How? When money supply goes down, uh, money in the pockets of and deposits of people go down. So when people have less money, they spend less. They spend less money, they buy less goods and services. As a result of which, uh, when they buy less goods and services, prices go down. Because, you know, producers want to sell the same amount. If they want to sell the same amount, they will have to bring down prices. So prices going down means inflation will be under control. Now, now, how will, why will SBI increase, ten, increase the rate from 8% to 10%? SBI will do it when SBI gets it costly from RBI. Means SBI gets it at a higher interest rate, then SBI will give it also at a higher interest rate. So, what is the solution for RBI? RBI simply increases the repo rate. RBI increases the repo rate from let us say 4% to 6%. So if the repo rate has been increased from 4% to 6%, SBI will take less money. 4% to 6%. SBI will take less cash from RBI. Because it, it has become costly to get cash from RBI. Right. So if SBI gets it at a higher in, in, repo rate, uh, SBI will have less credit to give to its debtors. When it has less credit to give to its debtors, na naturally the money supply in the economy will go down. This is how repo rate is used by RBI to control the flow of credit, the flow of money supply in the economy. Okay. And if this happens smoothly, if the Decision taken by RBI impacts the debtors. Means what does RBI want? RBI want SBI to give less uh, loan to debtors. If that uh, decision taken by RBI to, to increase repo rate gets transferred to the debtors. Means the impact of a decision taken by RBI on the debtors is smooth. It happens without any interruption, without any blow. Means uh, RBI takes a decision and SBI as a result of that decision takes the uh, step of increasing the repo rate then it is called smooth monetary transmission smooth monetary transmission means the decisions are being transmitted to the economy through the banks whose decision RBI's decisions okay Right. Now let us see what will happen in the other case. 
this this was a situation where prices were running very high what will happen if gdp growth rate is low so what is the problem money money supply in the hands of uh, debtors is very low when the spending is low and uh, produce when the spending is low spending is low what happens to prices See, M1 is low, spending is low. That means prices are not very high. They are very low. Prices are low. So producers are not happy. Producers are getting low prices. They are throwing people out of jobs. Some jobs are lost, which is not good for the economy. So let us say debtors who take, you know, loan from SBI. It, it is actually... The whole banking system, not only SBI. I have taken SBI as an example. So what will RBI do? RBI will reduce repo rate from 6% to 4%. Remember this is policy rate. From 6% uh, from to 4%. As a result of which... SBI will take more loans from RBI because it has become cheaper taking loan because SBI used to pay 6% earlier. Now SBI is paying only 4%. So because it's paying only 4%, SBI will take less money. Now it has less credit to give to the customers. So for that, it has to increase the lending rate. Earlier we saw that lending rate had to be uh, reduce. No, we want people to get more money, not reduce. We have to reduce. We have to reduce the lending rate. SBI will reduce the lending rate from eight percent to seven percent. Why did SBI do? SBI reduce the lending rate. SBI reduce the lending rate because SBI has more credit. It's like having more mangoes, so you reduce the price. If you have more mangoes in order to sell them, you will have to reduce the price. So SBI has more money in order to give this money as loan. <laughs> loan SBI will have to reduce the repo rate. Uh, sorry, lending rate. This is your repo rate, and this is your lending rate. So. Yeah. So, when debtors get less loan from SBI, uh, more loan, because the interest lending rate has gone down, so debtors are happy. Yes, earlier I was getting loan at 8%. Now I am getting loan at 7%. Let us take more loan from SBI. So, the economy overall is happy. As debtors take more loan, let us say earlier it was taking 100 rupee, now it is taking 110 rupee as loan. So, 10 rupee extra is flowing into the economy as uh, money supply which will 10 rupee extra 10 rupee extra so this money will be spent on goods and services everybody will be happy producers will want to enter, uh, expand production for that they will create jobs and prices will start rising smoothly and GDP growth rate will also go up because you know producers are happy because there is revival of spending in the economy Okay, so this is how what happens in lending uh, liquidity adjustment facility window. The RBI is adjusting the liquidity as per the demands of the economy. Okay, sometimes the economy requires higher money supply, sometimes it requires low money supply. Thank you.